evening and welcome to our service of choral evensong from Tenstall Chapel at uh, University College in Durham. It is sad that we cannot gather in chapel for services, but it is nonetheless a joy to be able to share worship from the chapel in this way. We hope that you enjoyed our service of readings and carols for the season of Epiphany on Tuesday. If you were not able to join it, uh, it is still available on our YouTube channel. You can follow the words of this service on the website of the Church of England or on the Daily Prayer app or in your Book of Common Prayer if you have one at home. And today we remember Thomas Aquinas. Again, welcome. The psalm appointed for tonight is Psalm 138, 138, which our choir will now sing.
The first reading is taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 15. After these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abram in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. And Abram said, Lord God, what wilt thou give me, seeing I go childless? And the steward of my house is this Eliezer of Damascus. And Abram said, Behold, to me thou hast given no seed, and lo, one born in my house is mine heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be thine heir, but he that shall come forth out of thine own bowels shall be thine heir. And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now toward heaven, and tell the stars, if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall thy seed be. And he believed in the Lord, and counted it to him for righteousness. And he said unto him, I am the Lord that brought thee out of Ur of the Chaldees, to give thee this land to inherit it. And he said, Lord God, whereby shall I know that I shall inherit it? And he said unto him, Take me a heifer of three years old, and a she-goat of three years old, and a ram of three years old, and a turtle dove, and a young pigeon. And he took unto him all these, and divided them in the midst, and laid each piece one against another. But the birds divided he not, and when the fowls came down upon the carcasses, Abram drove them away. And when the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell upon Abram, and lo, a horror of great darkness fell upon him. And he said unto Abram, Know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them and they shall afflict him four hundred years. And also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge, and afterward shall they come out with great substance. And thou shalt go thy, to thy fathers in peace. Thou shalt be buried in a good old age. But in the fourth generation they shall come hither again, for the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet full. And it came to pass that when the sun went down and it was dark, behold, a smoking furnace and a burning lamp that passed between those plate pieces. And the same day the Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying, Unto thy seed have I given this land, from the river of Egypt unto the great river, the river Euphrates, the Kenites and the Kenizzites and the Cadmonites and the Hittites and the Perizzites and the Rephaims and the Amorites, and the Canaanites, and the Girgashites, and the Jebusites. Here endeth the reading.
The second lesson is taken from Matthew chapter twenty-six, verses forty-seven to fifty-six. And while he yet spake, lo, Judas, one of the twelve, came, and with him, a great multitude with swords and staves, from the chief priests and elders of the people. Now. He that betrayed him gave them a sign, saying, "Whomsoever I shall kiss, that same is he. Hold him fast." And forthwith he came to Jesus, and said, "Hail, Master!" And kissed him. And Jesus said unto him, "Friend, wherefore art thou come?" Then. Came they, and laid hands on Jesus, and took him. And behold, one of them which were with Jesus stretched out his hand, and drew his sword, and struck a servant of the high priests, and smote off his ear. Then said Jesus unto him. Put up again thy sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my Father, and He shall presently give me more than twelve legions of angels? But how then shall the Scriptures be fulfilled, that thus it must be? In that same hour said Jesus to the multitudes, "Are ye come out as against a thief, with swords and staves, for to take me? I sat daily with you teaching in the temple, and ye laid no hold on me. But all this was done, that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled." Then all the disciples forsook him, and fled. Here endeth the second lesson.
The anthem haunted for tonight is Lux de Luce by Scott Villard. The Latin words Lux de Luce apparisti Christe, qui magi monera offerunt, Alleluia, 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 can be translated as You appeared as light from light, O Christ, to whom the Magi offered gifts. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Let us pray. As we remember the theologian Thomas Aquinas, who dedicated his life to study and writing, we pray for all the students of our college, wherever they may be this term. We pray for resilience in this time of hardship, for the capacity to focus on their work for a renewed curiosity and passion for the subjects of study, for healthy habits and for the good care and support essential to make their work fruitful and successful in the long run. This we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Yesterday on the Holocaust Memorial Day, we remembered all those who were murdered for who they were, innocent children, their whole families, victims of ignorance and hatred. And we remembered also all those who were murdered in other genocides around the world and throughout history. We pray for our Jewish siblings and that we may all participate in putting an end to anti-Semitism. Also, we pray that we may have the courage to stand against any form of prejudice and hatred, beginning the work by addressing the ones in our own hearts. We pray that we may raise our voices when we witness intolerance and injustice, that, guided by the Holy Spirit, we may be advocates and examples of God's love in and of the world. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. God made a covenant with Abraham and promised him that he and his people would be delivered. God brought light and hope in the midst of despair. And so we pray for a renewed confidence in God and for guidance. Eternal light, shine in our hearts. Eternal goodness, deliver us from evil. Eternal power, be our support. Eternal wisdom, scatter the darkness of our ignorance. Eternal pity, have mercy upon us, that we, with all our heart and mind and soul and strength, we may seek thy face and be brought by thy infinite mercy to thy holy presence. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. We conclude our prayers in the words of the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.